I guess if you want the demo, so this is throwing demo. Oh, you got it. You don't need the demo. Well, maybe you should watch anyway. Just in case. So, I guess you want the, the smoother side of the bat, but these are old bats, so they're all bust up anyway. And moisten the, the bat a little bit. Get your clay, it's already washed. Smack it in the middle. So if you're having a hard time, come watch. That's all of you, because you're all having a hard time. Now come here. Hurry, 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 hurry. I can see Oh, like somebody come, come closer, you know, within the goodness of things. So you kind of want to be thinking about that fast. Like you can sit there or on my chair or on the other chair. Then you shove it down to make sure it doesn't fall off. And then you shove forward with your left hand. Your elbow is in your gut, right at your crotch area, right at the hip. And I'm shoving with my hip into it, yeah? And it's still crooked, so I gotta. So this palm here, this is what I'm centering it down here. So it's touching the bat like that, and it should hurt a little bit, especially if the bat's open just here, like this one is. And so you have to turn it into like a beehive shape. Then you pull up. And I all start from the very bottom, my hands touching the pot, and I make this conical shape. And you do that about three times to center the entire piece of clay. And you may need to re-wet your hands every so often because it gets dry. And then you make the beehive again. You do that about three times, and with any luck, that'll get the whole giant pile of clay centered. And ideally, you would do this with a much smaller ball of clay, about the size of your fist when you're starting out, because it's easier and you won't waste as much. So if you're doing this a lot, you would, uh, like make about six balls of clay first and then spend the whole day just throwing. Because you'll screw up at least five of them and only one will be functional. Okay. If you have a giant mess here, you can actually put the mess on top. That way you don't make as much of a mess in here and then you have to clean it later. So once you get it centered, like mine's still like a little bit goofy, then you can open it. Even if it's not centered, you can still open it. It'll just be harder. And a lot of people open it when it's not centered. You know, I want to make kind of a large bullish shape thing. And that'll become like the ocean, I think. That's what I'm kind of thinking.
Okay, so I just flattened it somewhat. Um, is this the part where you're having trouble? Is the opening part? Yes. Well, come, hurry up. Stop that and come over here. Come here, stop it. Okay, so this thing has to be mostly centered. Even if it's off by a little tiny bit, it's not gonna matter that much. But like, if it's off by a lot, okay, so like this hand is touching the bat here and it's touching the clay here. The main part's touching here. So you push forward and you open. And you can't open all at once. And this is when you start finding air bubbles. And you start popping them, if you have any. How do you do it so the wrong sides are even? What I just did. When I do it, like, half of the pot will be thin and the other half will be thick. That's because I'm pulling, I'm always resisting with the outside hand, in this case. And that keeps it centered. And I pull evenly with the inside hand. And as it gets drier, you stop and pause and clean up them and like start again. Yeah? And if you did a bad job of wedging, this is when you're gonna find all the air bubbles. Or if you have inconsistent clay because you're using the recycled stuff, you'll find that too. Okay, I think that's like half an inch, so I'm gonna stop and see if it is. Okay, that's half an inch, so good enough. So now I have that. And I, I kind of want, like I said, I want a bowl. I want a very curvy bowl so it looks like the earth, like, you know, one hemisphere of the earth. And so I kind of want the bottom to be this, so it's already kind of gush. And then I can start bringing it up. So when I bring stuff up, I'm always in this quarter here, being a left-handed person throwing right-handed in the American style. So I'm th right now we're doing American style of throwing, I'm cleaning up the mess so I don't have to clean it later. Uh, I can't put it in there. That's all good. Okay, so when you're pulling up, pretend this is the cup, I mean the, that, the clay. This outside hand is going to be way at the bottom here, with your fingers touching the back. This inside hand is in the bottom, touching the bottom of the pot, so it'd be like a little bit above. So it's going to look kind of like that. Then I have my finger on top, so it's support, and I go straight up. In the initial pulls, my outside hand has been pushing inwards. My left hand, supporting hand, on the inside is supporting it and being stable and being straight. Okay, so I'm gonna do that pull. And I try to move on this side so you can see better. And I'm pulling up my right hand on the outside is pushing inwards. So it's, if it's easier, you can walk on this side and see. That's true. Or you can look at the, the camera, I guess. So I probably need to do this about three times, maybe four. And if I do this good, it'll get more and more centered because when I opened it, if you notice, I was lazy, and it was a little bit crooked. I've been, you know, accosted about that in the past. Like, oh, you're being centered, dude. It's like, oh, I don't care. I I get here at eight. It might be open before though. Like, I think I got here at seven forty-five once it was already open. Um. I usually stay to like two something, and then I don't know when they close it. Lock it. They're probably after oh, four. Oh, I lock it when I leave. But if you want, I can leave it unlocked. Oh, you guys didn't hear that. Um, 
when can you be around? Oh yeah, you can do that. Because I usually eat lunch here and it's like one when I'm done and then I either have to like finish loading the kiln or do something, you know? I'm sure that the Asian types of tea sets are like kind of shorter. Right? Yeah. But it depends like on what you want, yeah. Yeah. You just have to have a picture in your mind. Usually, as long as you can make a cylinder like this, you're good. And then, um, Kelsey, what are you trying to make at the end? Yeah, so you get to, just get to this point and you're, and you're good. Like, if you're gonna use it for outside, you can actually leave it a little fatter. Oh. All right. So, since I'm making a bowl, I'm gonna move this outwards now. So now I'm gonna push, my inside hand's gonna push out toward my left hand, and it'll go like this in this pattern here. Okay. And as you can see, the outside hand is braced on my inside hand, and I left the top fat because obviously, if I'm making a big giant bowl, as I get bigger and bigger, I'm gonna run out of clay as I open it, and it's gonna get thinner and thinner on the top. Every so often, you suck the water up out of the bottom because it gets like a turning muddy mess. And you always start from the very bottom. Wow. And then every so often you might have to shift your position. And I forgot to get a tool, so I gotta go get it. Get me one of these made of wood. Made of wood? Yeah. And then, so I'm gonna cut off this excess clay that's here. So I'm starting to shape the, to the final shape. size one, but it's okay. Use a leader. So I'm gonna use this metal thing. Wet it. Make sure it's not, my fingers aren't too slippery. off this excess clay. And now I'm kind of throwing down because I'm trying to get this really smooth globule, globular like feeling to it. I'm trying to make the kind of like the top is like the ocean, and the, the bottom is like the top is like the surface of the ocean, rather, and the bottom is like the, the form of the earth. Yeah. So, like, kind of like a globe. 
And right now I'm getting to the point where I'm really pushing the clay and you can see that it wants to kind of collapse because I made it really big. And I'm only like slowly pushing the clay in like this. So I'm kind of changing the thing that I was thinking of making. So this is like a teapot, yeah. And then there's a big mess of muck in the inside, so I'm gonna clean that up. You know, the outside's pretty nice. Not perfect, but whatever it is, I guess. And then, shoot, I need a smaller one. Be right back. smaller ones, so hopefully it's in the right shape. So I'm now compressing the inside and at the same time I'm trying to make it the shape I want it to be. And I'm not finding the exact shape I want. Once I get the shape close, and I'm compressing the clay on the inside, supporting on the outside, and getting the shape I want on the inside. So it's closer now, it's like a little bit screwed up, still yet. So I need to switch tools again. at a very odd angle, I gotta say. And I'm actually going down into the bottom. Like, yeah, I know you can't see it, but it's Yes, up to a limit, and as you can see, I went too far. Yeah. If like some, like one part of the thing lost too much clay, yeah. how would you fix that? If it's too thick? No, if it's too thin. We push only on the thick parts and don't push in the thin parts. So I caused it to collapse a little bit, so now I gotta reform it. And at this point, it is very difficult. And I got to slow this down. So if this lives, it would be some kind of crazy miracle. And it's actually going back to what I was originally thinking of which is interesting. So this is actually the shape I was actually originally going for, and then I changed my mind for some reason. Please. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. 
I need help too. Look at this thing, it's crooked. It's not as bad as mine. Hmm? It's not as bad as mine. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. I just want to know if there's anywhere I can stop. Okay. No, it's a meke, so... What are you trying to do? Well, it's like thinner on one, like one part. It's thinner? Oh, okay, spin. And my mask is falling off. Oh my gosh. So then you collar it. And I'll kind of center the outside ish. I'm going to pull straight up and try to get it. So I'm only applying pressure at the crooked parts. So you're just making it thinner then to match? Yeah, you can only make it thinner. You can't make it fatter. It's not bad, but you're holding how the top's really crooked yet. So I'm forcing all the crookedness to the top. And then you would just cut it off, because otherwise, eventually the rotational math is so goofy. You know how to cut it, yeah? Yeah, this one, yeah. Gotcha. Try it down one. Yeah, I'm going to try to cut it. That's how you cut up the top off and make it flat. Yeah, so you would do the whole thing when it's still moving. Like when you pull it off, it's still moving. It's easy. Okay, so notice all the pads are on one side. Spin, one, two, three, four. Spin, one, two, three, Now all of that crookedness is at the top. The bottom is too straight. Push. Only when I get to the top. Now this is very thin, almost completely useless to make anything. It's like, oh, the bottom is slightly crooked. And so you suck up the inside. If you leave the water in the inside, then it'll eventually erode the... It'll erode it. And then, yeah, so you get... Yeah, you cut the top off again though. And you just keep doing that until like, but right now, the only thing you can really make is a, a, a shortest cylinder, you know? It's so thin and, yeah, so then you just go like this. So like, I just supported it. And so you cut. You support the fingers and going slowly, resting on the thumb. Supporting with the inside finger, cutting with the outside, and you lift it up. Now, we have almost a centered thing. The bottom's not so bad. And then from here, you can just, so now you can kind of do something with it. But it could become a plate still yet, or it could become like a very short bowl. Like I have a giant fat bowl over here. Can it still be a teapot? It could be a very short teapot. You won't grade it harshly for it. It's thrown. It's not a throwing pot, so it's thrown. So now I just gotta wait for it. Oh, I gotta cut it off.
So always wait for the rest of the, for it to dry a little bit more and then trim the rest. Centered, but it's okay. Um, it was for the rice thing. No. Wait. 